Hi, I'm Nick. Today I'm going to show you the basic setup for spread spectrum by means of frequency modulation. For this setup we need a spectrum analyzer and an arbitrary waveform generator, which we will just connect via a coaxial cable. I have set my arbitrary waveform generator to output a sine wave at a fixed frequency of 500 kHz with an amplitude of 100 mV RMS. The spectrum analyzer is set to measure at a fixed center frequency of 500 kHz with a span of 200 kHz and I have set the resolution bandwidth to 1 kHz. Now let's turn on our waveform generator and we can see one single peak at our set frequency of 500 kHz. Let me just put a marker here. We can see at 500 kHz we've got an amplitude of about 81 dB microvolts. So when I set the frequency to 450 kilohertz, the peak just jumps over to 450 kilohertz and the amplitude say, stays the same. When I change it to 550 kilohertz, the peak jumps over to 550 kilohertz and the amplitude once again stays the same. Now let's return to our default setup. And let's see what happens when I configure the arbitrary waveform generator for spread spectrum by using frequency modulation. I'll turn the output off and go into the modulation tab. I will select frequency modulation. I've set a deviation of 50 kilohertz, a modulation frequency of 20 kilohertz, and I'm gonna use a rectangular wave as a modulation shape. So now our 500 kilohertz signal will just jump between 450 and 550 kilohertz at a rate of 20 kilohertz. Now, what do we expect on the spectrum analyzer? We might just as expect one peak at 450 and one at 550 kilohertz, because oh, after all, we're just jumping between those two frequencies at 20 kilohertz. Interestingly, this is really not what happens in reality. When we turn it on, we see numerous peaks extending outwards from our center frequency of 500 kilohertz in whole number intervals of our modulation frequency, which in our case is 20 kilohertz. So when we go to the next peak, we can see it is at 520 kilohertz and the next one at 540 kilohertz. And you might have noticed we didn't even see a peak at 550 kilohertz, even though we are jumping between 550 and 450 kilohertz. That's interesting, but it makes sense because those peaks only occur in whole number intervals of 20 kilohertz and 550 is not a multiple of 20 kilohertz. When we now take a look at the highest value we get, right here, those two are the highest peaks. And at the highest peak now, we have an amplitude of 75 dB microvolts which is already 6 dB microvolts lower than our previous carrier. And that's why spread spectrum is used for EMI reduction, because you can trade off the signal amplitude versus the bandwidth of your emissions. You might now notice that the amplitude of those peaks occurs in a weird sort of fashion. According to the rules of frequency modulation, those amplitudes can directly be derived by the so-called Bessel functions. And by setting the modulation parameters carefully, we could even say we want to cancel out the um, center frequency, and then we wouldn't get any peak at the center frequency and just spread the energy over the rest of the spectrum. So that's the basic setup of spread spectrum, and we'll continue with different settings in the next few videos.